Hello everyone! First, let's thank EA Game Changers for giving me the opportunity to play The Sims 4 Cottage Living before its release. I do have to say that it is not in a final state, so things might change. Because of this, I won't be reviewing this pack until I have the real deal, because that would be unfair. It doesn't mean we can't explore the gameplay though. To dig into this, I've started a sim with the new country caretaker aspiration and the animal enthusiast trait. Since the animals seem to be the main feature of this pack, I figured I'd better not be an astronaut. The new world in Cottage Living is Henford on Bagley and it has a total 3 neighborhoods with 12 lots to build on. Something new in this pack is the simple living lot trait and the pre-built lots come with it. It might be a struggle for me at first because I'm rusty, but you know what? I'd love that to be true. I love the idea of it. I have like no money, probably because my lot came with this imposingly huge animal shed and a bunch of new objects we'll gradually explore but I do have enough money to buy a cow, so I guess I'm gonna buy a cow. It looks like I have to clean it. Do, do people clean cows? I, I, don't, I don't know about that. It jumps, and it's kinda cute. See folks, this is your animation budget right here. I am not kidding, having to make all this with the sims and the cows was probably a bit of work. My sim lacks the resources to do anything whatsoever for this cow, so let's scope out the neighborhood. It's huge and pretty, but dang, whole lot of nothing. But I mean, that's what you want for the countryside, right? But in the world is this thing a flock of wild birds it looks more like a tree to me but i guess they live there oh okay so we can get to know them and probably make them our personal army we will definitely look into that <laughs> There really is some nice scenery here. I think this is the most secluded neighborhood of the three in the pack. Uh, that's nice, but my sim and animals are going to starve unless I do something about it. I'm not cheating here. We are so broke we need anything we can get. It's a really long walk back to my sim's house and... Look who happens to be here. Oh, man. Mortimer Goth is hanging around in my serene, middle-of-nowhere country cottage. It, if I had get famous, would this be Thorn Bailey? We'll have to wait and see, but I freaking hope not. So let's see what's up with this new lot challenge system. So it looks like the good lot traits are still in the main category and the harder ones to contend with are in challenges. I suppose maybe Quake Zone would go here if we had that pack active, but the fact you can put on as many as you want is really, really interesting. Somebody is definitely going to have some fun with all negative lot traits on. The simple living thing actually disables quick meals. Maxis did good here not defeating the entire purpose of the concept by leaving me able to get a bowl of cereal with no ingredients. So, we actually have to order groceries with this lot trait. Finally! <laughs> I love both of those ideas, but we'll have to see how it plays out. So, The Sims has Instacart now. Okay, that's cool. It... Put the eggs in the fridge since they're meant to be used for cooking. I'm an idiot. I didn't look at the ingredients for anything. I'm level one cooking. I thought, you know, I thought maybe I could just fry an egg without needing much else. So I bought groceries and I still can't cook myself a meal. So I'm going to use this special early access to starve to death. 
Let's explore the town itself. There are apparently wild foxes, even at the bar. And Willow Creek residence. I have no idea what I'm doing. There's supposed to be a sign you can check out to learn some stuff. <laughs> That's a poster, Carl. <laughs> and there it is. I'm sure this will be very helpful. These must be very important individuals. I guess these are the folks around town who can help you find something to do when you aren't waiting on your expensive animals to lactate. <laughs> and Agnes Crumplebottom has a shop here. So this is where you can get cross-stitching stuff and dirty looks. She does, she does this if you piss her off. My sin definitely deserved the trust me. Wait, there was another option at that sign we didn't look at. Okay, so I'm guessing this fair is for chickens and they'll have others for different things. The mayor was probably one of those super important people, right? I, I don't remember. Um, I knew it was here and I finally found the option to get some missions. It's offer to help with errands. Well, we can take three... So, let's take both of them, I guess. It's not really clear, based on all this, what she expects us to do. It's just a bunch of talk without spelling out the objectives. So, you don't really know what you're getting into. Catch a fish. Browse the shops. The shops are closed. Well, I guess the best I can do is try to catch a fish. So, what on this map looks like a lake hmm. well most of it looks like a river so it must be this old new henford place we haven't seen it so why not it's pretty here but a lake <laughs> this cannot be a lake it does not meet the size requirements of a lake at all well I need money anyway. Anything I can possibly find because there isn't a new career in this pack and not a new major skill. So I need to wait on Bessie to lactate her milk bags full. <laughs> if that's the fishing spot, it's too hard for me. Uh, we'll have to come back. Oh God, I forgot. I can't cook anything. Well, this is the first time I've ever been happy to see the welcome wagon in my life. Fruitcake, baby! Set it down and get the hell out of here. The cake is awful. Leave now so I can have another piece. I'm sure he'll forget the taste of that before I do anything actually important. Well... The cow's still in good shape, and I guess we can probably milk it now, right? So yeah, let's give that a shot. I guess there isn't a skill for this? He's just a natural at caring for animals. Uh, at least it liked it. We're even closer now. I desperately needed that milk. I, I mean, probably... <laughs> It spoils, well, it better. So yeah, we'll put that away and see how long it'll last. 17 days. Like my local grocer, I will note that and sell it in 16 days, 23 hours for 50 cents off. <laughs> Bastards. Wait, what is this? Why didn't I even pay attention to this? I already have a chicken coop right here the entire time. It's why this lot was so expensive. Props to EA for making me a farm I can destroy because I could not have built this. Thank goodness I'm rolling in dough so I can maybe purchase something. Well, hens are cheaper than roosters. I guess you probably only need the one very, very busy rooster. Chicks are half off. All right, we'll go with that route. 
Get one of each and hope they aren't siblings like Ray and Kylo were. <laughs> and their brother and sister. Come on out and get fed. With everyone happy, I guess I'll do some fishing because I have a bunch of important errands to run for the mayor. I need to have a Henford heart to heart with three important people. Is she important? No, definitely not. Or she probably wouldn't be wearing a swimsuit at 9.30. So my sim is tired and I have a clever idea. I'll travel instantly and bring someone important ah. with me. <sighs> so I'm having a oh. Henford heart to heart um, with Agnes Crumplebottom at 2.30 in the morning. Oh. At least it worked. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Where's my cow? Is it dead in there? Why is it reeking? I just bought it. I even just cleaned it. Oh my god, you have to clean the shed too? My poor cow. Look at this. It's near death and it was just fine yesterday. Damn. Between shoveling cow poo and cleaning... And not killing these animals, I think I prefer painting. No, you get back out here. We need footage of the main features, or I'm going to have to show my sim fishing for 20 minutes. <laughs> show off my dance moves. <laughs> it's not even paying attention. <laughs> so I've got two of those heart to heart with important people down. I guess the mayor should be important too, right? No, no, she's not that stupid as to let herself count. I gotta find someone else. <laughs> important, important. <laughs> no, not important. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. I hope I don't have to turn this into the mayor or that this shop doesn't close the shutters in my face. Hey, it auto-completes. That's awesome. One down. Well, I'm glad it is turned in automatically, but I'm not even sure what I got because I haven't paid attention to my inventory unless I'm starving. Wait, did you give me a plate of nearly rotten food? How did I get that? The other one wants me to talk to the grocery delivery boy about his dreams. He dreams of leaving this place. I mean, it's pretty easy to make money. He should probably ditch Instacart, buy a sketch pad, and start painting. <laughs> I, I almost thought that talking to him didn't work, but now I have to talk to the mayor. I bet she'd love to help me kill two objectives with one teleport. Oh, man, there is not a lake anywhere in this area. No lakes. If this is a lake. Oh, well, we need to befriend the mayor a little bit so she can come fishing with us. Too bad you evidently can't go fishing together with bait. Look at this. What an asshole my sim is. Want to go fishing? Okay, I'll dug 30 meters ahead and leave you alone at night in the wilderness. Jeez. Ooh, I've caught a fish. If this is it, I'm almost done. This is a pond. I was sure it was a pond. Time to go home and eat that food that was randomly placed in my sim's inventory. Outside the house in the middle of the night, as as you do. <laughs> I haven't really paid attention to this aspiration, though I'm sure it's a tutorial. But hey, in a way, I could use one, just not an aspiration. Looks like I've done a lot of it automatically. It just wants me to talk to some animals. Or just talk to the same rabbit five times. I can't talk to the fox, but if Sims 3 horses taught me anything, you befriend them by staring first. You know what? I don't really want to be his friend because I'm afraid he's going to eat my chicks. 
And that's an upsetting way to lose a friendship. <laughs> I don't know yet if having them in a fence is sufficient, but let's hope so. Well, the animals are doing well and producing lovely, screenshot-worthy, cutesy moments. At least this isn't bug-hugging. I will totally hug a baby chick. Something noteworthy is that other than when my sim was fishing, I haven't really needed emotion or skill gain improvements in any way. It's why I haven't cared if my sim is happy. Skills and careers just aren't involved much doing what I'm doing. There are some other new things though, like canning and cooking with children. So what you see me doing now is I'm abducting a sim's child to bring with me to my far out cabin where we will make fruit preserves. <laughs> I bet I'm the only game changer that can say that. Well, we can make some yummy milk bread together. All right, here's the big moment the community's been excited for. He's not helping me in any way. What's going on? You're awful, Alexander. I knew I should have kidnapped literally anyone else. Oh, man. I can't afford a fire right now. But the look at this. My Sim's an absolute badass. He didn't even hesitate. Well, Alex, that's what it's like to cook with Carl. Let's try canning. It's surely less violent. So, he won't help me cook, but he has the nerve to interrupt his captor while making apple jam. So, I've never made anything in my life, and now I've pulled off an excellent apple jam. Well, thank goodness, because we need some money after that fire. Let's try the cooking together thing again. No, Alex, you've been kidnapped. You do not need to worry about your homework, you little nerd. And he can't figure out how to get over there. Third try. Here we go. Cooking cheese with Carl and Alexander. This is it. And he gains mental skill. I suppose what will happen is after he hits level 5, he'd be able to move on to cooking. I'm not really sure, but it should help going into the teen regardless. But I'd figure this would be a creative pursuit. Well, we made some great cheese. I expected it to be an ingredient, but it's a food. I guess you can just eat cheese. But 12 servings for like two milks. I can make 24 a day or more with my cow. I'm deleting this counter now so we can get some amazing footage of them doing it side by side. Well, <laughs> that was better. Well, I've sure got a lot of cheese now. I'm fed. Kind of feel like I've already exploited this country living thing because there are foods that give such abundance so quickly. But I don't like this child. He's annoying and somehow looks evil while he's hugging this chick. Please leave. Return to your home. Which, by my estimate, is about... 3,500 miles from here. <laughs> Let's have a look at this new oversized crops thing. So, looks like you can buy seeds right here, but they'll only work on this. The following morning, we are met with amazing news. My chick has grown into a hen. We're going to finally have some eggs going, baby. I think my cow needs a name. Brown cow is not working. Milkshake. <laughs> that works. I think we'll keep it. There are quite a lot of chores involved here. Tending to the cow and scattering feed for the chicks. I'm going to resume my missions from the villager since everybody's okay for now. Agatha is the nicer cousin of Agnes, and she runs the garden shop, so that might be useful. She wants me to talk to a gnome and find two single sims. This is some weird missions. <laughs> you know how you find single sims? Look for townies that are in the base game. <laughs> and I found a gnome. I don't find this mission all that entertaining. 
they clearly put some time into making these missions, so there must be something important you get, but I find these steps kind of fetchy. And now she wants a dessert. Also, I can't even afford crop fertilizers yet. <laughs> The question of the efficacy of fences has been answered all of a sudden. <laughs> Doesn't seem to keep foxes out, just keeps chickens in. But hey, that fox got his ass handed to him by my hen. And our other chick is now all grown up into a rooster, so I guess now we can get eggs. The kind you hatch. I need money, so I am getting rid of my milk and eggs as they come for now. The thing about focusing hard on this content is it left me pretty broke. Does anyone else feel it's a little bit ridiculous that this barn is already dirty again? I'm honestly a bit annoyed. Here's my mini gripe about cheese. It gives you the same buff as any other. You do have to eat it twice. I just think that good food buffs should come from actual cooked meals and cheese is a little low on the totem pole in terms of what it takes to make it. One of those more recent features is likes and dislikes, and my sim is offered to like cooking. Of course I'll take that. It'll only help the quality of anything he ever makes. And of course, the absolute best dessert to bring to Agatha is a hamburger cake. The dumbest cake in the game. I hope this makes her happy. But this is what my stupid ass did. I gave it to Agnes. Because I can't read. <laughs> I do end up picking up an errand from Agnes herself. She wants me to cause problems in people's relationships, I think. Despite her reputation, she's very handy on the farm. I have no idea why she would help me, but she did. The chores are intense. Once again, milk the cow. Clean the cow. I cook a cake in the bar where you don't require ingredients and then take it to Agatha. So I finally finished this mission. Just as her shop closed and she was leaving. Her new mission was to get me to spread love in town by giving roses to those single sims. She also wants me to buy seeds from her. I find two new single sims and ensure to give them roses. The problem is, everyone leaves. I also have to give lettuce seeds to sims, which is weird. So I spread my seed all over the town. I'm supposed to get the sims I gave roses to to flirt with each other. I lose track of who was who. So what I do is travel and bring them with me because they may not even be in the neighborhood, and that's a big problem with this mission system. This really is the best way to tackle it. I eventually figure out how to get these two to flirt with one another. If I were to give some feedback to the devs, it would be, why is it that whenever I complete these missions, I'm not told what I got? I'm getting things kind of randomly from various places, and here I am. This is when I sort of start to give up on the mission system because I'm not even sure that it's that important. I do like seeing the fruits of my labor begin to pay off with the chickens. I'm finally getting eggs, I'm getting milk, but there's a lot of work involved in just dealing with these two buildings. It eats up a few hours each day, and it also requires you to focus on it. My rooster has been busy. This time I got a hatchable egg whenever I harvested from the chicken coop. So I guess I'm gonna try to hatch it. Might as well. I need a free chicken. I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> well, that was not exceedingly difficult. I did some reading in the lessons and I guess if you send a hen in, it will hatch faster. But uh, I don't care. <laughs> My big crops are finally showing some growth, but I haven't been able to fertilize them at all yet. But now for something truly exciting, the Finchwick Chicken Fair. I happen to have a chicken, and you know what? I got an egg. I can enter the competitions. Evidently, chickens are objects. They can fit in your pocket. That's cool. <laughs> it's like a bag of holding right there. This 
looks nothing like my county fair. It's too clean and empty. <laughs> Damn. So, I guess just use these things and you put your chicken down and then you put your egg down over here and you wait for the judges to take their sweet time to judge. I'm smart. I'm using the excellent egg because I think it will give me a better chance of winning. What do you guys think? <laughs> I want my chicken to know that I'm rooting for it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think you could see for yourself that there's not a lot going on at this fair. It's the competition and some people with bad dance moves and uh, they share gifts with you. The fair ends very abruptly, but it does tell me that I won a prize. You know how they do those overpowering emotions sometimes? Oh, not this time. Look at my sim walking home from the fair after winning. What did I win, pray tell? Well, a red polka dot chicken blouse. I'll make use of that later, I guess. And a pumpkin pie. So, I got chicken clothes. And then I unload my chicken from my family inventory. Once I've cleaned out my inventory, I use the proceeds to vastly expand my chicken collection. I'm not going to be broke any longer. Or so I'd hope. <laughs> my farm grows more chaotic by the day, but that would only be the beginning of the insanity that I would cause by being left in charge of animals. Exactly how helpful are fences? Is that chicken blouse useful? What about llamas and oversized crops? These questions and many more will be answered in part two. This was about three and a half hours of gameplay condensed down, and I have another seven to share with you along with the results of my testing, experimentation, and code browsing. In the same way EA would ask me probably not to review this pack based on early access don't take my let's play as any indication of my stances i'm not ready to share those types of opinions until the expansion is final thank you for understanding